Hi, I'm Samir and it's time to find some cubes now. Let us try to find the cube of 104. Here our base would be 100 and the difference would be plus 4. We will call 4 as x. Now we can proceed to write down our answer which would be in three parts. The first part would be 100 plus 3x which would be 100 plus 3 times 4 making it 112. The second part would be 3x square which will give us 3 times 4 square which is 3 into 16, 48. And the third part would be x cube which in our case is 4 cube which will give us 64. Now clubbing these three parts, we will get our answer as 1124864. Let us now try to find the cube of 94. Here our base would be 100 and difference would be minus 6 which we will call as x. Now we can proceed to write down our answer which would be in three parts. The first part would be 100 plus 3x which will give us 100 plus 3 times minus 6 which is 100 minus 18 giving us 82. The second part would be 3x square which will be 3 into minus x square which is 3 into 36 giving us 108. And the third part would be x cube which in our case is minus 6 cube giving us minus 216. Now here comes our second rule which says none of our parts can be negative. To make minus 216 positive we'll have to borrow 3 from 108 which will make it 108 minus 3 making it 105 in the second part and the third part would become 300 minus 216 which would be 84. Now in the second part we have three digit but our rule one says we cannot have more than two digits as our base has only two zeros. So we'll have to carry the extra one to the first part making it 82 plus 1, 83. So our final answer would be 830584. Let us try to find the cube of 206. Here our working base would be 2 into 100 and the multiplied 2 would be called as A and our difference here is plus 6 which we will denote by X. So we can now proceed to write down our answer which would be in three parts. The first part would be 100 times a cube plus 3 times a square x which will be 100 times 2 cube 800 plus 3 times 2 square into 6 which will give us 72 making it 872 in the first part. The second part 3a x square would be 3 into 2 into 6 square which would be 6 into 36 giving us 216 in the second part and the third part would be 6 cube giving us 216 and here comes our first rule which says the number of digits in second and third part will be equal to the number of zeros in our base. So the 2 in 216 of third part will be carried over to the second part making it 216 plus 2 218 and will be left behind with 1 6 in the third part. Again 218 in the second part will have to give its 2 to the first part thereby making 872 plus 2 equal to 874 in the first part. Now we can get our final answer by clubbing all these which would be 8741816. Let us try to find the cube of 297. Here our working base would be 3 into 100. The multiplier 3 would be our a and the difference minus 3 would be our x. Now we can proceed to write down our answer which would be in three parts. The first part would be 100 a cube plus 3 times a square x which will give us 100 into 3 cube plus 3 times 3 square into minus 3 giving us 2700 minus 81 which will give us 2619. The second part would be 3a x square which will give us 3 into 3 into minus 3 whole square which will give us 81. And the third part would be x cube which is minus 3 cube giving us minus 27. So as per rule 2 none of our answer parts can be negative. 
So to make minus 27 positive, it will have to borrow a 1 from 81, making it 81 minus 180. And the third part would become 100 minus 27 as 73. Clubbing all these three, we'll get our final answer as 26198073. Thanks for watching and subscribe to our channel to get updates on our new releases.